Hello everyone, and welcome to the next edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. My name is Ryan Duffy, and I'm the director of the museum, and this week we are going to talk about one of Genesee County's more famous artists, and that is Richard W. Ware. Richard Ware was born January 3rd, 1913, uh, here in Batavia. Uh, his parents, Ernest Ware and his mother, Mabel Wright Ware, uh, he attended school here in Batavia, and then eventually graduated on to the Rochester Business Institute. In 1933, he returned to Batavia and started working for the F.E. Mason Steel Company, which was started by uh, Frank Mason, also a well-known artist. Uh, and uh, Richard Ware was actually in charge of the art department and designing a lot of the uh, embossed seals that the company produced for businesses around the country uh, and was quite well known for the exquisite work that their uh, artists were able to do, with Ware being at the head of that. While working for the Masons, he also started to receive uh, training and mentorship uh, in his artistic endeavors outside of the company uh, by Roy Mason, who was the son of Frank Mason. Uh, and it was Mason who really uh, pushed Ware to continue his art career uh, outside of just designing the seals. Ware would also go on to learn from Carl Peters out of Fairport, and he would start to specialize in watercolors, though he initially began working in pencil drawings as well as working with oil paints before moving on to his well-known watercolor works. Ware would go on to have many one-man shows uh, throughout uh, the area uh, throughout the years, including the Women's University Club in Rochester, the Wood Memorial Library in Canandaigua, the Century Club of Rochester, the Stevens Library in Attica, and the Two Rivers Gallery in Binghamton. So he had his shows across most of central and western New York. He would also do many shows uh, here in his hometown of Batavia for the Batavia Society of Artists. Uh, and they would be some of the most popular shows that they would have. Uh, his work would be uh, noticed uh, by many critics uh, and would be awarded with numerous awards from uh, many art organizations across western New York. And from the 1950s and 1960s, you'd be hard-pressed to travel to any local galleries and not see a work by Richard Ware. He would go on to receive awards from many notable institutions, including the Cooperstown Art Association, the Batavia Society of Artists, the Rochester Art Club, the Newark Art Club, and the Genesee Creative Art Guild. Now, Richard Ware would pass away in 2004 at the age of 92 uh, and continue to uh, produce works well into his later years. And we are lucky to have uh, quite a few pieces of his uh, here at the museum. Uh, the one that is behind me here is probably our uh, best piece. Uh, and this is actually a, um, a work done by Ware of the Tonawanda Creek right behind the museum here. This work here is probably our best work done by Richard Ware. It's a painting entitled On the Tonawanda, which was done uh, in either 1950s or 1960s, and actually depicts the Tonawanda Creek, which runs behind the museum here at that time. And uh, you can see off in the distance is the Oak Street Bridge, and it comes from the perspective as if you were standing on the Walnut Street um, pedestrian bridge today. And uh, looking west along the creek, uh, you can see uh, several businesses uh, on the right side that no longer exist and have been replaced with the Peace Garden today. Uh, and some of those businesses would be Gallagher's Liquor Store, Sloat's Tire, The New and Used, Pat's Tire, Tony Ficarello's Barbershop, and The Bluebird Inn. Uh, so it's a very uh, unique piece showing a, a local area, in fact, very close to us, uh, and but shown during winter, which shows a, a different aspect of the creek than is often depicted. Now this painting was presented to the YWCA in 1972 in memory of Hilda G. Bork by the Rainbow Club uh, and it was purchased by the museum uh, in the early 2010s uh, and it has been on display ever since. Uh, it is not the only work we have by Wares. We have two other works and one in particular is of the Holland Land Office so we're very happy to have that. But uh, Richard Ware is one of the uh, most well-known artist from Genesee County, and you can see his works in, in many different uh, places, even to today, but we're lucky to have some right here at the museum. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of our Artifact video series, 
and learned a little bit more about one of the preeminent artists of Genesee County, Richard W. Ware, and got a chance to take a look at some of the uh, works that we do have. Uh, we do have other works on display besides the one uh, that we showed on the Tonawanda. Uh, so please stop by the museum and check them out uh, as we work to uh, put out more uh, pieces of artwork by local artists, uh, Richard Ware being one of them. Uh, so in case you've missed any of our videos in the past, go to our YouTube channel, Holland Land Office Museum, and you can go rewatch any that you've missed. And we'll continue to put out these videos uh, every week, so be sure to stick with us.